All right guys, so it's competition day. Every day before competition, we like to go over the car, even if nothing's wrong with it. And almost every single time, we do find something that's loose, something that could potentially be a failure point, and uh, it's good to keep tabs on that so we don't have a failure during competition. So Johan's got the car all squared away. Uh, we're about to go out for the first kind of practice laps, and I'm gonna focus on some chase runs since I'm feeling pretty good about the leads, but I'll do a couple of each. And then uh, we got our first battle against Ben Hobson, the guy I drove a bunch with last time when I first brought this car out to the track. Have a blast driving with him. I think our driving styles suit each other well. It's gonna be a really fun first battle.
All right, we talked a bit yesterday about some of the technical stuff with the new setup, showed the Dynograph and what it felt like to me on the track. But now we got Freddy, the Magic Master Spec Tune, pulling up the data on the ECU Master EMU Black, and we're gonna look at what a typical log from one of my runs on the track looks like and see if we actually did raise the RPM. All right, before you tell me what you see, what I'm looking for is to see at 100% TPS, if you remember before, I don't think we have any old logs, the car would be capped out at like 6,600 RPM. Or now, if you look, at 100% TPS, those little squiggy lines means we're hitting the limiter. So now we're up to 7,400, we got about 1,000 more RPM, 10 mile an hour more wheel speed, which is why you see way more smoke. But Freddie, what did you find interesting about these logs? That you have the car so gripped up, there was like a lot of like clutch kicks in there where you're wide open throttle and the RPM is jumping. And I thought maybe you have like a cam sync issue, but it's actually you just clutch kicking it. So you're talking about like, um, where's an area where? It's like an area here, right there. Where I'm 100% TPS, but the RPM's like falling and going up and down. So you can look at the log, and I'm 100% TPS for a lot of the track. Need more power. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's time to just put a put a Barra in it. What do you think? The Barra, maybe. That'd be cool. Or a bigger Jay Z. Yeah, we got we got some of those laying around. We'll see. But um, I'm really happy with how the car is driving. It's doing great. It's just so hot out here. Everything's overheating. The crew, the car, the driver. The Toter home, Shulman. It's it's gnarly. The IETs are worse. Yeah. So we're we're still having bad IET issues. I'm thinking that the head is restricting so much that the turbo is overworking itself, trying to hit target. Uh, what are some like minor changes? I know that every time you check a log for me coming in, what are some changes that you make? Mainly just the VE table for the fueling. Um, depends who you drive, you always have different pedal inputs, so we find new spots in the map where you could use a little bit of fuel, take some fuel out, and just refine it so it's happy. What? <laughs> that? That's him. Spectrum. Custom. Custom. Stock. Stock. Not anymore. Not anymore. So what happened last night? I heard some stories. <laughs> <laughs> Battle. Number four. What does that mean? Number one. First, first battle. Okay. No. No. You're gonna win. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so this next battle, we're going up against Brian Wadman. Uh, I definitely got the luck on my side on that last one. Poor Ben, his car got stuck in, I think, second gear, uh, so he wasn't able to complete the run. And even though I had a crappy chase, I got a buy run for my follow. I wound up picking the win. So we're going against Wadman. I've driven with him up in the Northeast quite a bit. He's a really good dude. I think I beat him in my R32, so I think he's going to be coming at me for some revenge on this run. But uh, it should be fun. Uh, just keeping the car the same. Just going to drive and try to chill out a little bit. So, hopefully it goes well. It's so crazy in clutch kickers when you start getting to the top eight because all the cars and drivers get so ridiculous. Um, I'm going against Chelsea. Chelsea's driving the Drift HQ car. Chelsea's a phenomenal driver. Uh, I think he was the top qualifier. He's been driving phenomenally. Ironically, 
Chelsea basically helped me spec out the entire E36 and I'm going up against him. I'm nervous, but uh, the cool thing is I get to do my chase first and I know I just gotta give it 110% on the chase to even remotely stand a chance. So uh, I'm super excited to get to drive against Chelsea in a pretty legit comp. Um, and then if, you know, for some odd piece of luck I beat him, then I go up against Kevin Lawrence, who is my kryptonite in this series. Uh, but it's been a blast either way, and these series, are they're so good for your driving and just uh, competitive practice and helps me just kind of get in that mindset, which will be great for FD. So uh, I'm excited and nervous. You know, this isn't FD, but this is pretty huge. I know I've said it in videos before, but Chelsea, if anyone I could say got me into drifting, it was a clip of Chelsea doing a backwards entry at Park in his E46. And how crazy that now here we are, whatever, four or five years later, uh, going up against him in what I consider a pretty legitimate competition. It's not FD, but it's uh, for sure going against one of my idols that I also consider a friend, but him and an E46, me and an E36 that he helped me build in a way. Uh, it's definitely uh, going to be a spicy battle. I'm excited. I'm chasing first, which is it's usually the other way around because usually I qualify pretty good and I don't make it to this point. So I know that I'm just going to have to give it everything that I got because he's going to be all over me. So we shall do our best and have some fun and understand that I'm going to be giving it 110% and at 110% mistakes happen or I shred. We're going to go for the second one now. We gripped it up more than we have in the past. Let's do this. All gas, all gas, all gas. gearbox oh and that's so ironic because Chelsea told me oh, I need the clutch delay valve I lost third gear oh boy I'll try to run it in fourth big sad I lost third gear huh? I lost third gear but I'm gonna send it in fourth Sad. I felt like that was one of my best runs too. 
We'll do our best in fourth and see if she'll hang. I know second won't be enough. Oh, bummer. This stupid box has lasted so long. Hey, heads up. I don't have third gear, so I'm going to be in fourth. I have no idea if this car is going to have enough power. Let's hope. It's going to need a lot of clutch kicks. Oh, I think my do my trans seize up? No, we're good. Where do we DB? Something's not right. Big sad. I broke my gearbox! That was a good run until then. Huh? It feels like something broke in that wheel too. Oh, yeah, it beat it. Oh. You killed that chase dog. <laughs> yeah. I uh, killed that chase. You stuffed him up on entry, bro. That was money. It was so good. Dude, yeah. we were yelling, bro. When yeah. the third gear blew out. Bust yeah, dude, it's it like not having a Guibo on the ZF transmission is bad news. I don't have a clutch delay valve either. And <laughs> funniest things, bro. Chelsea told me he's like, bro, you're gonna break your trans. Bro, oh. you're gonna break your trans. Oh. I know that's why I've been sweating and I've been going so easy. But this one, I was like, all right, I'm not lifting. What happened? 
You told, we were literally having this conversation. I mean, beforehand. literally 20 minutes before we battled, I walked cool off in your rig and I was like, damn, you're running a ZF with no Jubo or no clutch delay valve? You know, you're like, yeah, I'm like, oof, that's a bad move. And you're like, ah, oh, that's fine. And then I, when I was following you, I was like, all right, I can't give him any room. Because before what I would always do, I would, you know, gas and then take my foot off the gas, go to the brake to like dive yeah. in and then go back to the gas. And so you're would, driving with me, so you want I'm a little getting, extra sauce. So I just left my foot on the gas, and I was like, grr, 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 grr. yeah. And then that's the die go way. Yeah. And then it how'd broke. How did that turn out for you? Do you think I should do a G force, or do you think I should I try think to make the Z, Z ZF work? with a delay valve slide? Yeah. Do you think it'll last? If I was gonna do a G force, I'd put an Andrews in it. Though. But what if I did more power? I mean, I think up to 700 would be fine on that. Okay. Well, but I don't want to be the reason you lose, so... It just sucks if to, it's like to a, come all the way out here to spend the money and then to lose to something like that. Yeah. The good thing about you the think CF, I had you? Yeah, I do, actually. I think that... Yes. I, so the problem is yeah. where you broke, Yeah. right? So, like, if you wouldn't have broke there and I had to chase you, I think that you would have had it. I don't think there's much I could have done in the chase that would have been better than your chase, and if you wouldn't have dropped the tire, you would have lost. Because I dropped the tire like one and a half times. There would have been a good like good chance though, like I get so worked up where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna enter like 30 miles an hour faster yeah. and go, Wee! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you did that, but yeah. in fourth. Yeah. I literally was but like- I beat it. Oh. Oh. That's why I didn't do the donuts with you, because I was just slapping got around. Got it, yeah. got it. I can't believe I didn't DB. Yeah. Keep it up with these dudes out here. I was down in grave and tire pressure. This place is crazy. The cars right? are nuts. <laughs> it's faster than FD cars. I you mean, don't realize that. It is literally because the track is small. Like the dig is as much as an FD car. Yeah. Almost everybody here. The difference is like obviously we run a big track like with your car with more power, and the cars are as fast on big tracks, which is a little bit different. But yeah, the dude, people are shredding out here. I had to work today, yeah. dude. Work. The crazy thing too is like. Every round, the driving in the cars get gnarlier and gnarlier. Like people bring up they, wider tires, the turn is, up the power. They're gonna get gnarlier, but like that is like as fast as you can go without looking like an idiot. Yeah. You know, it's like without making it look really choppy and crappy. I was like, dude, these things are fast. Naren's car is wild. It's fast. I know. It's I'm fast. coming back here with like a seven liter V8, 325. It's awful. Nitrous. Seven liters not even as big as half the cars here. I don't know anything about V8s, but yeah. like that's just, seven that's liters only like 416 cubes. No dude. way. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Like Nate's car is a 430. Like everyone's got bigger. Wait, bigger than a seven liter? Oh yeah, his car is a seven three, seven four. Dude, the coolest thing would have been if they let me take the chaser out. Yeah, if I could have cool. done my second lap with you with a chaser, that would have been good. Yeah. They should let you do that. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, sweet dude. It was, that was rad. Fun. Yeah. I'm bummed that I lost you or won to you by you breaking. That's uh But it happens. Yeah. Everybody killed it. Yeah, I broke too. So. Everybody broke. Yeah. Wait, what did you break? I, uh, I tried to drive with only one wheel steering, but it didn't work. Yeah. I was like going towards the crowd and I was like, ooh, it's time to shut down, boys. <laughs> like, I don't even know if you look at the tire marks, they go like this and squiggle so quickly, you're like, that doesn't happen unless something's broken. Yeah. Like, in between inner one and touch and go, I did three manjis. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Have fun. Appreciate it, bro. See you guys. Travel. Enjoy. Good times. Thanks, John. You're we, welcome. We did it. We did our best. It was fun. It was really fun. I think that's probably one of my best like competition chase runs I've done, and uh, it's a stupid mechanical failure, but we're gonna come back swinging super hard. You're yeah. thinking? Yeah. Z really ZF hard. or G force? You think? Or sorry, uh, not G-Force, Andrews, dog box. Well, G-Force with the Andrews internals, like I said, or, yeah. you know. I don't know anything about dog boxes, so yeah, I'm, just, I'm just we'll spinning on words. The way. Yeah. Shaft, gears, <laughs> dog. Things that spin and don't break. Yeah, that's what we want. So we could win drifting. Yeah, win. Win. Faster, more big, big yeah. turbo or big head. We we saw how fast it could get. Yeah. We just need it oh, to not did. break while going that fast. I want a bigger tire. It's crazy, like, Probably 14 out of 16 cars in the top 16 were like FD cars. Yep. So it's wild. But I have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little raw competition, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Mike boiled in the heat. Make sure you show appreciate him, Mike. <laughs> Boiling in the heat. A lot of filming. Yeah. yeah hot, lots of hot sun. I mean, hey, you could have had a short day if I didn't make it that far. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> I lucked out. Thanks, guys.
We'll see you later.